hello guys welcome back to design and take up youtube channel i hope you are doing great in this video i'll be sharing with you guys that some are mind-blowing secret and pixel lab app but before diving into the video where you need you are please kindly click on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new and amazing videos and as for the returning viewers thank you i really appreciate so just like i said earlier i will share with you guys as some pixel are mind-blowing tricks so just uh, make sure to watch uh, this video carefully to the very end so that you can understand uh, these tricks uh, i will be sharing with you uh, the first one i'll be sharing is uh, the perspective how you can create a uh, something looking perspective on the pixel app app so first thing let's change the background to white as you can see i've changed the background uh, let's uh, create the test let's create the test i changed the font I change the font and increase the size so looking at this now you can see uh, this is a uh, I will show you how you can create a perspective which will be looking as a uh, looking real just like you place as uh, something on the wall so let me create the shape So like this the shape so i'll be giving this a shadow and i'll bring up at uh, the test so the test is uh, what will be changing so you move to a 3d rotation 3d rotate here and you reduce at the y axis Looking at this, you can see this is looking like I will place this on the wall. So that is just how you can easily create a perspective for test. That is how you can easily create a, something like this for test. It's looking as if you place as something on the wall. This is perspective. So that is how you can uh, easily create perspective for test and pixel lab. So let's say it is a shape. it is a shape so let's say it is a shape you want to create a perspective for so just uh, create your shape any shape of your choice you want to uh, do and move to a perspective here we have a perspective you can see this is a perspective so just click on it enable it and then you can drag the shape with any of the four uh, circles on each side this is not looking realistic enough you can see this is looking as if i will place it on a wall so that is how you can create a perspective for shape as well that is the first uh my, the first trick i'll be reviewing so to the next one now how you can create a test how you can create a, 
a test how you can create test uh, in number just a uh, look at this let's change the font so we've created the test now so we want to be changing at this test we want to be creating test in it as in, just as see what i'll be doing something like this something like this how you can use your test to create test so what you just have to do let me repeat the process all you just have to do is to come to texture you make sure the test is selected so come to texture here and click on this you'll be taken to your gallery so you select on the you must have created at the test before the new app transparent background test you must have created so you just select on the test like this and uh you click on this if it is not uh forming in no way so just enable the issue then you can increase the scale or reduce it to how you want it so you can just uh, increase the scale or reduce it to how uh, you want it to look like so this is the second trick i'll be revealing so now let's move to another one which is how you can create a realistic shadow for any object on pixel lab so you can just uh, let me import an image from the gallery so something like this this is a standing uh, character a standing character so let's say we want to create a realistic uh, shadow for this you just come to your shape here, click on shape, let's change the shape to circle, you reduce at the opacity, then increase at the stroke uh, with it. Once you increase the stroke, the stroke with it, just I uh, reduce, uh, uh, sorry, just uh, click on anything you want to uh, reduce the shape like this. Once you reduce the shape with it, without any uh, space in between it, so you move to this, then you increase the blur radius. Once you increase the blur radius, I uh, just uh, bring it here, bring it where you want to place it, then move to 3D rotate. You can just uh, rotate it. To be in form of any 3D rotation, I uh, just rotate it to make sure it's looking flat. Then I uh, bring it below your the object you want to place it under. Bring it below the below the object. You can just uh, reduce uh, the opacity to how uh, you like it to be. Let's copy this and place it on the second uh, leg as well. I hope you can see that that is how you can create a realistic uh, shadow for any of your object on the pixel lab have now to the next one which is the fourth uh, trick I will be revealing let's say you create a test now you've created your test Let's say you've created your test. Your test is placed like this. 
so you don't want to place it on the character or on the image so you just have placed the text you place it below the image like this and the image is being at uh, the text is being blocked by the image you want our people to be seeing what is under the text so all you just got to do is to uh, make sure this is well placed let's place it at the center so make sure you i uh, just copy this once you copy it move to color click on color click on this uh, plus icon to add a new color then you reduce at uh, this you reduce this you bring this you bring it here just drag this down then click on ok so uh, you've uh, removed the color now so you move to stroke then uh, you enable the stroke then you can reduce the width it then uh, you can place it on the test like this So we we'll change the stroke color. So looking at this, that is how you can create an outline. That is how you can create outline. So looking at this, you can see this is without any color. So that is how you can create outline. Let's change the background color. So you can see that is an outline that is how you can create the test outline so the next one i will be showing you is this how you can create a blow sheet a blow a shape like this increase the stroke with it with this this then uh, you can change the color to any gradient color of a choice. Once you select uh, the gradient color of a choice, just uh, increase this a little bit. You can put uh, this on your design. You can uh, create something like this on your design to make it uh, look, uh, to make it more beautiful. So you can see, I think this is the fifth, this is the fifth uh, trick. So the next one is a shape. How you can create something like this? Shape. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm Once you've created your shape, like you've created your test. You can just uh, create a shape. Let's say a shape like this. Then you can reduce the opacity. You can reduce the opacity. So something like this, how you can create it on your design or you can place it here so please if you find this video if you find these uh, tricks if you find them helpful please uh like comment and subscribe on the youtube channel and don't forget to put on your notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new and amazing videos thanks for watching